on November 21st of 2016. It was reported by CNN that Pope Francis extended to Catholic priests power to forgive abortion. In an apostolic letter released by the Vatican on Monday, Pope Francis stated that he henceforth granted to all priests the faculty to absolve those who have committed the sin of abortion. Now was this move by Pope Francis in claiming the prerogative of divinity a brazen act of blasphemy? In the Bible, in the book of Mark chapter 2 and verse 7, blasphemy is defined as the act of a man claiming that he has the ability to forgive other men of their sins. In the book of John chapter 10 and verse 33, blasphemy is defined as a man claiming for himself the prerogatives of God. According to these scriptures, the Pope is a blasphemer, and furthermore, he's the biblical antichrist. And the Bible warns us about this satanic power in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 beginning at verse 3, where the word of God states, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, speaking of the second coming of Jesus Christ, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And as we see the professed Protestants of our day, led out by highly esteemed church leaders, compromising their biblical principles for the purpose of advancing their political agendas, no matter how good they may seem. They are following in the folly of the footsteps of the Christians that occupied the Roman Empire between the 4th and the 6th century. The apostate Christian church of today, through their flirtatious relationship with the state, are opening the way for the emergence of the Antichrist and his papacy to receive unbridled power on planet Earth. And when this blasphemous beast, as it is prophetically described to be, in the book of Revelation chapter 13 verses 1 through 3 is once again unleashed on this earth the Bible warns us in the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 8 and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world when the papacy led out by the Pope once again seizes upon the power which it once yielded between 538 AD and 1798 AD, everyone that refuses to bow down and receive its mark of authority will be persecuted even unto the death. But those of us who follow the counsel that is contained within the book of John chapter 1 and verse 29, which tells us, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world, those who follow that counsel, when the crisis comes, and it will come, your name will remain in the Lamb's book of life because the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and only the Lamb has the power to conquer sin in your heart and in this world. My friends, what is your decision? The crisis is coming. The time now is at hand for us to wake up, to get ready, and to stay ready. As always, this is the forerunner, and whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth.